We have, once again, no contracting authority. Once again, not an LSDBE, not even someone located right here in the District of Columbia. We go somewhere else. We bring them in. We give them a contract verbally and then, you know, breaking all the procurement laws and practices mm -hmm. established. And then if, if I'm correct, I looked at the what was supposed to uh, the end product mm -hmm. and I looked at what was sent around to the offices. They're identical. They're almost mm -hmm. identical. So not only that, we go somewhere else and we find and we pay mm -hmm. for some work that's already, that's already done. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look forward to other testimony, but it just seems to me, I want to go back to page 5 of 17, because I think this is, you know, very, very critical here, because we also talk about accountability, and we all talk about mm -hmm. the district residents always, uh, one of the things that they're, you know, I keep hearing over and over and over again is that, you know, you know, Council Member Brown, when are we going to have some accountability within the District of Columbia? Mm -hmm. And it says right here, no district and employee should enter into an oral agreement with a vendor to provide goods or services to the district government without a valid written contract. And further states that any violation should be cause of termination of, employee of, the, of the employment of the district employee. Now, when I come, was, was looking over um, what was presented as it related to, um, to this particular, to this Bruner, this was cost plus expenses, am I correct? That's that it was um, hourly hourly rate plus expenses. Okay. Hourly yes. rate Whatever. plus cost, expenses. Yes, cost of services rendered plus. So expenses. if I lived, and I'm going to just use myself as an example, mm -hmm. and if that was me and the contract was me mm -hmm. and, I, and I had a contract with the city of Oakland, because mm -hmm. I'm a council member, that person mm -hmm. was a council member, mm -hmm. my expenses would include flying mm -hmm. me back and forth from east coast to west coast. Would that be correct? If you had a city and you lived there, that's yeah. correct. Well, she, she does live there. And, and paying your hotel. Does, yeah, person does re reside in Oakland, California. That's correct. Right? And okay. uh, paying your hotel. So I get to pay for my hotel. So you get to fly your, me here. I get mm -hmm. to stay at a hotel. That's correct. Right? Eat, eat on eat, us. Eat, uh -huh. eat on the residents of the District uh -huh. of Columbia. Local and transportation on us. Okay, I get to catch cabs too. So you okay. get the cabs. This thing just keeps racking up here. That's correct. No, no, no one here could do it. No one in the District of Columbia is smart enough to figure out mm -hmm. how to help uh, put together a pre-apprenticeship program. And which, as you know, I'm I'm big on vocational education. We mm -hmm. talk about it over and over and over and over. But yet, you know, the more we talk about it, the more we schools we close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we have hardly no schools. We have Booker exactly. T. Washington. I went by to see that school. Mm -hmm. Fabulous school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we sat down to talk about um, looking at the MOU. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of stuff in the MOU and then the PLA is what I think a lot of council members are stressed anyway. Mm -hmm. It was nothing new, re no new revelation here mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. about what's needed, right? 100% apprenticeships or new mm -hmm. apprenticeships should be district residents. People have exactly. been talking about this forever. This is not new. We don't have to pay anyone $90,000 mm -hmm. to figure this out. Exactly. This is, this is real simple.